Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. We gotta do a run here today. We'll warm up. You know what, I'm gonna play as Azazel. <laughs> I know it's not a random run, but I I have not played as Azazel yet. A strange med says, may I request tainted Azazel? No, you may not. So they changed the sneeze. It's now when you start your charge, it sneezes. Okay, that's interesting. And otherwise, I think the character is like exactly the same. Because previously you had to like do a partial charge in order to, to do the sneeze, but you could not do a partial charge less than a quarter of your charge bar, I think. So it was kind of awkward to sneeze, but now just being able to sneeze at the start of your charge makes it way more consistent. I kind of like that change. It wasn't like a big change that I think was like really needed as Azazel, but it's just like a nice little, uh, it's a quality of life improvement is exactly what it is. So I like it. Tainted Azazel is a fun character. We don't have flight, but hey, we still have a brimstone beam. I also kind of forget, it's a weird visual effect on the enemy. It's like they actually have like a, a debuff indicator on them when I hit them with this or something. Uh, I forget what items synergize as Azazel. Ah, uh, there's the debuff indicator. It's a literal icon now. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, I forget what item synergize as Azazel. And by that I mean, like if I get homing shots, will my brimstone beam home? You know, if I get technology, will I fire the brimstone beam or just technology shots? You know, because technology and brimstone, they do have a synergy together, but they don't always work with uh, Azazel. But I like it. I like having that little indicator over something's head instead of them just turning slightly red, makes it really hard to see if they're uh, affected by the debuff. Ooh. But let's see how this works. It's just a damage up, I like it. And we got a lot of HP, I like it. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the changes here. Now unfortunately, um, I would love a bomb, which we can't afford, because there was a tinted rock there's a secret room, there's two golden chests, there's a lot of stuff on this floor that we cannot access. That's unfortunate, but uh, there's nothing else for us to do except for, to leave. But hey, a damage up as a Zazel, or even tainted a Zazel, I'm happy with. Curse of the Blind, maybe not. We This might be a floor where we just go for a deal with the angel in the future, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a deal that takes me down to one HP and uh, I might just die on, you know? I'd rather, have a little bit more choice in the matter, let's say. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't gone through pu puberty yet. But I like it. I like the changes, I think. Yoink! So in case you don't know what that debuff does, basically, when you sneeze on an enemy, you apply a brimstone debuff to them, Brimstone does double damage to them, so when you sneeze on an enemy, well, first of all, it knocks them back and they can take uh, bump damage, basically. They can be walled. But then your Brimstone does a lot more damage. Clicker, huh? I I don't want to change my character. I like this character. I want to play as Azazel today, so... Although that would be kind of funny. You know, start as Tainted Azazel, use the Clicker, immediately change into another character. <laughs> I'm sure uh, a strange med would hate it because he's the one who wa really wanted uh, Zazel today. You know what? S sneeze? Shoot. Latch key. We have so many goddamn keys. <laughs> I mean, I like it. But where's the bombs? Any number of bombs would be beneficial. Mud, welcome. How many, uh, what's your streak? My streak right now is like 12, I think. We just had this room last floor. You know what? Sneeze, sneeze. And it had the same payout, what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Money. 
There is a cheap item in the shop. So I would cert- oh my god, we didn't get much money out of that at all. So I would certainly like to buy it. But I am hoping at some point just to be able to pick up like some bombs. Please, game. I like the sound effect for that too. There's not a lot happening on this run or floor, but I will take this to see what it is. PhD, oh thank god. Range up is kind of worthless, but PhD is a great pickup in a shop. You know, that's an item that I'm gonna look to buy on like every single freaking run. <clears throat> Clicker into Tainted Eden and immediately take damage, it says Latem. So I would just be Tainted Eden. That seems like a horrible idea. I'd rather not be Tainted Eden. I kinda like infinite range Azazel Beam, even if it is a little bit lower damage than regular. Okay, there's clouds, and they will explode. I am acutely aware of clouds whenever I'm on the dross now. Man, that is really good. So we'll go with Giga Bean instead, fantastic. <laughs> Does the range up affect the sneeze? Uh, I doubt it. It could, but I kinda doubt it. Does this open secret rooms? Let's see, hold up. <clears throat> no, it just does a big fart. All right, well, <clears throat> there goes my hope and desire that maybe I could actually uh, get use out of an active item. Go ahead, come on, come on, come on, make my day. That looks like a secret room too. Dude, where are the bombs on this run? This is absurd. I don't think I've ever had a run that was so consumable poor. We have infinite amounts of keys, but like almost literally no bombs. In fact, we've had no bombs, so it's literally no bombs. We've had troll bombs, I suppose. And some of you out there would be like, you've had bomb drops, they just exploded. Yuck, 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 well, yeah. That's kind of the problem. They've exploded prematurely. Just want bombs, please. Where are you? Let's fight the boss. I'll giga fart on him too, just to see what happens. Yeah, I thought that would find secret rooms, but maybe uh, I was too close to the wall and it didn't come out properly. That was not that bad. That should be a tears up. 0.17. Oh good! Another freaking troll bomb! Plenty of freaking hearts too, says Bud. <laughs> plenty of hearts, plenty of troll bombs, not much else. Okay, we'll um do a few more floors and maybe, or yeah, a few more rooms. Maybe try to find like, uh, something that'll make this Giga Bean actually useful. Like I am scrounging, I am, I'm breaking the poops, hoping that maybe I can get like money that I can go to a shop with and then just like buy a bomb. I mean, there are plenty of, uh, oh my god, it's bombs. There are plenty of uh, dimes and nickels around. So we got a bomb, finally. Let's go back up here. Maybe it doesn't find a secret room. Maybe the secret room's not even there. Definitely go for the bottle of pills. Now we don't even need to worry about it. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, a bottle of bills is definitely what we're getting here. A second secret room. There it is. Just red hearts. Hey, you know what? Those red hearts are fine. They'll be there on uh, on the the next run. I need them on. I'm sure. Pog bombs. <laughs> yeah. Now that we actually freaking have them. 
All right, so now that we actually have the ability to, uh, you know, fire our tears, sorry, uh, use bombs, use our space bar item, and etc., etc., I'm a little bit more, uh, you know, happy about this run. Now that we have more capability of doing essentially everything. Did I push the chest? I did. Interesting. I guess there there might be a reason why you would want to like push something around so you could uh, maybe get in, in position to use it. I wonder if you can uh, sneeze on... Ooh, that's a lot of money. I wonder if you could sneeze on mimic chests and open them for free. Probably not, but hey, you never know. Pop the poops. Oh, I'm popping every single poop. Don't you worry about the poop popping. I'm an expert poop popper. That's where we found that golden penny on the last floor that didn't really last that long. <laughs> I'm also being a little bit careful here. I don't want to touch anything and risk damage. Sun card's okay. Range, another range up. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's bombs. Beautiful. Like, that's what I need. Uh, another range upgrade when I have an infinite range of brimstone. I'm not even regular as Azazel, because range up works on him. All right. If you have enemies affected by the sneeze, do you charge faster? It feels like you might charge faster if an enemy is affected by the sneeze, which is kind of interesting. Temperance, that'll literally kill us, so let's not take that. Let's leave. What a what a garbage set of items. Range up, range up, range up, small tears up, small damage up, bottle of bandages. Two active items. <laughs> Not a, not a fantastic suite here, but hopefully we'll find some more stuff in the future. Range ups will be nice if you have D8 or experimental treatment. I don't think those really take into account your stat upgrades. They'll just change your stats around at will, I think. Like experimental treatment, I don't think it, I don't think it looks at your stats and says, oh hey, uh, you have at least one damage upgrade, I can give, you know, lower your damage. So I don't think having range ups really matter. Unless we have like other tier effects happening. Like maybe if I, if I can get like a parasite, it'll fire bullets. Although I would hope that it would fire like crossing brimstone beams, that would be sick. Ania Kimura, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Happy New Year, etc, etc. Darnuna says, I wish the poop transformation wouldn't be so hard. I always forget that there is a poop transformation. Wow, that was a lot of damage. I don't think I've ever had the poop transformation. <laughs> I think I had it on, you know, like a challenge, because that's probably where you would get it, because there's a couple of challenges that are like that. You know what, this feels like a secret room. Now that we have bombs, let's just spend them willy-nilly. Oh my god. They're not corn dips, they're just, you know, little dips. Tears up, I like it. Let's get this battery charge. Shot speed up, I like it. What makes you small, I like it. All right, we're tiny. We're a tiny little sneezy baby now. God, there's so many red hearts on this run. Who do you think I am? Alive? Death. I'll go ahead and just pop it. Well, okay, maybe not. Oh, definitely on this on this room. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I know what room this is. If it looks too easy, it's probably not. It's probably just, you know, got one of those guys on it. The game knows what it's doing.
You're you're not done, huh? You're just gonna keep going forever then? Why didn't I grab my thing? It does work. One makes you sure. Make me make me as small as I can get. Oh good. That's totally worth the, uh, the five cents. Yo, give me my card back, thank you. Darnuna says, yeah, I only had the boop transformation in the challenge. Do you start with it in that challenge? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Man, it's a nice, sizable damage bonus, though. When you sneeze and shoot. It's a weird one. It incentivizes getting a little close, but a little far. Sorry. Although it really increased our deal with the angel chance. Also, can we pick up red hearts now? We can! Let's go! Flies and spiders to the rescue! Hold on, Mud says, I'm pathetically in love with the MCU. I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of the new ones. I've seen, like, I saw, like, you know, the first three. I, you know, I saw Iron Man, I saw Hulk. And then I stopped, because <laughs> I didn't see the point, really. Ania Kamura says, studying for... Wood. For things, starts at 9 a.m. Psychology ex... Sci hold on. Psychology? Seems like a rough time to... Wake up early for an exam. Good luck. How come they're affected by the brimstone debuff? Is it because the root enemy was uh, affected by the debuff? It seems a little strange. Oh, good. <laughs> One holy water. All right. You definitely charge faster when you sneeze on someone. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, I still kind of like having the apple here. Being able to actually turn things into spiders is pretty sweet. Let's go to the uh, bonus floor. I want to go to the mines. It's been a while. Disposable Count says, I like DC more than Marvel. For some reason, I just seem to find Marvel characters far too smarmy. At least the movies are written well, <laughs> for the most part. I also have not seen any of the DC movies, but all I know is that uh, they're a little awkward. Apple, what apple, says Dear Nunu. The apple that I have, apple of Sodom. Sodomy, A the apple of sodomy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, ghosts. What do you think this is, Hollow Knight? Oh good, another range up pill. I haven't seen that one before. Great Gideon. Hate this guy. I've said it before, but when I'm fighting bosses in, in Isaac, I wanna fight a boss, not six more rooms. That also has uh, random explosions happening. Oh my God, just show yourself so I can kill you. 
You so small. I am pretty small. Still getting hit though. Oh, come on. <laughs> he spawned under me. Probably gonna just use my sun card on the last wave here. Because I'm a little worried of what's gonna spawn, yeah. Even though it didn't kill the spiders, it, it unrocked them. HP. That's our first HP upgrade. <laughs> we've, we've played... How many floors? This is our uh, fifth floor, our first HP upgrade. That's incredible. Stormworm says, that was a boss? That was indeed a boss. I hope you like, uh, you know, waves of enemies as your boss fight. Although the Chaos card will apparently kill him, which is kind of cool that there's that little um, kind of secret of clubs. High Priestess. One enemy. And a Tears and Shot Speed upgrade. You jerk. I needed those pills to keep giving me range upgrades. Okay. Bombs? No, give me little Chad. Hey, you know what? That's like spiders every few rooms. That's not that bad. I mean, could it be better? Oh, absolutely. Is it bad? Not really. Like we sometimes fart spiders. The mother's judgment. Goodbye. It's like I gave him one penny just to see him smile. And then I took it away and blew, blew him up. <laughs> Ace of clubs, although I I failed to get those two. Oh well. Hey, you know what? We are getting kind of a nice little spider army here just by picking up all the red hearts on the ground. Oh my god, tears up again. I mean, I like the fact that we're getting so much, but at the same time... Like, we don't really need that large of a tier stat. Really, what I could use is like a little bit more range, I think. That'd be great. Let's get the knife. We're here. Get that nickel, you have plenty of bombs. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. Wow, 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 wow. Although I am, you know, here I am complaining about uh, tears ups and at 0 0.91 tears, it takes a long time to charge. <laughs> I can't pick it up. I don't have the trinket. It's gone! Come on. Give me more poops that I can shoot. I know a secret for breaking all the TNT or something? Never know. That was a good shot. This does kind of look like a, uh, a room that could have secrets on it though. Like if you break all of the uh, all of the bonus rocks or something that you can. Maybe a path will appear and give you a penny. Very happy now, I got it. 
A nickel, I'll go back for a penny. That one's for Andrew. Um, we do have a lot of bombs. Maybe we can get a little bit more money. All right, I'm just gonna blow this up to see what it gives us. It gave us placebo. If I could hold both bottle of pills and placebo, that could be very good, but we actually have no good pills in our rotation yet. We have range up, I can see forever, and the tears up. That's not good enough. Especially because we actually have none of, none of those pills right now. I was gonna say, there's only like three locations on the entire floor that could theoretically give us um, the secret room. Perks, I can see forever. Luck up, when it makes you small, power pill. Do you wanna go infinite luck? I guess we've seen what our pill rotation is now. We can get placebo, and every like, you know, four rooms or whatever, we can just get another luck upgrade. There's some, some good synergies with luck in the game. Let's do it. Every six rooms, we'll get one luck. If we have a better pill, we'll just take it. Let's do it. I'm not gonna do it for tears, cause you know, there's a tears cap, but I'll do it for luck. There's no luck cap. Although if I remember correctly, I think in like the original, this is, you know, a little bit of uh, old knowledge here, but I think in the original... One makes you small. Uh, sorry, there's my luck up pill. In the original Flash Isaac, luck was bad, or like enough luck would be bad if it, if, if it was too high or something. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I guess we'll go to the mausoleum. I opened the door. I just, I, I see the door and I want to open it. You know, I see this as like a, a bonus path. I want to do it. I want to go here. Even though I probably shouldn't. I wanna, I wanna do more rooms, I wanna get more luck, you know? Can you blame me? Sun lovers. Well, we'll poop out some spiders, pop the sun card, bring the luck with us. What the heck? Never seen that one before, Jesus. Every time I pick up placebo, I forget about it and accidentally consume the pills as Fredacula. I, I, I'm trying to remember not to just use the pill, admittedly. Hopefully I won't do that. Hopefully I will just hold it, placebo it forever. That's the ideal. Let's see. Cannot open up a chest. Cannot fart open up a chest either. Hey, I don't know, maybe I have like super powered farts or something. Lock up. Maybe luck would uh, limit the number of mimics spawning. That'd be a thought. You hit me? I almost don't believe it. Got it. Got it. 404. I like the apple of Sodom. We're actually getting like pretty good use out of this. Where am I? <laughs> I am kind of losing track of myself, admittedly. You jerks. Do we need more health on this run? It's been like the largest problem that we, we've had is just being essentially unable to get any good health upgrades. At least our luck is looking good. <laughs> Another golden penny. Well, at least on this floor, we'll be able to spend some of our cash. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love having to run around to pick up all the pennies. 
And by love, I mean hate. And by hate, I mean love. Shot speed up. We'll just take that one. Shot speed up. Shot speed up. A golden pill would be really good, would it though? All a golden pill would give us is, um, you know, a random amount of random pill effects. I, I guess it would give us pill effects that we don't have in our rotation. Yes, but what would we be looking for out of pill effects not in our rotation? There's no damage up pill. We already have the tears up pill. Maybe like a health up pill? That would be pretty good. Strength. I don't really care about strength. Buy this. Buy this. Give me a luck up. I like that we can position ourselves behind the machine such that, um... Okay. That uh, we actually don't play it, we're just behind the machine. We're just stuck there. Ooh! Lucky secret room, if you catch my drift. I guess an enemy that's under the effect of the spell creates enemies that are un also under effect by the spell. I will take the speed up. Okay. <laughs> I'll take Godhead. Gotta say, seems pretty freaking good homing Brimstone. It's not, this is not even for like the aura. This is just for Godhead, for the homing. It's fantastic. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, hi, Godhead. I will say, like, we've only had two HP ups on the whole floor, on the whole run, rather. Oops, I did that wrong. To then get Godhead. That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> That's pretty good. Soul of Samson, slay a thousand. Sorry, don't want, don't want it. I like what I got. Very few blue hearts, very few black hearts spawning as well. To then get Godhead, I don't know what to, I don't know how to feel about that. Lucky, I guess. Got him. Maybe that was our luck up pill, giving us a good item. Do you think luck maybe affects item quality? I'm not saying it did, but that would be kind of a cool reason to take luck up items on a run. Like there are a lot of luck up items in the game that are just kind of bad. I mean, even the one that's like, what is it? Dad's Forgotten Penny. That's a pretty not fantastic item. It gives you like a little bit of range and then luck up. It's like, whatever, who cares? Oh God. If luck affected item quality, I think people would be a little bit more invested, you know? Really? You know that Skyrim meme about going into a cave and always ending up in Blackreach? That's Abe's Isaac runs ending up with Godhead. Where the heck is Blackreach in Skyrim? I don't remember what where that is, honestly. I know the Skyrim meme of uh, fading to black and then when you get to see again, you are in the cart at the beginning of the game. Hey, an HP upgrade. Where the heck is Blackreach? Really? All right. If you're gonna tell me there's no, uh, no secret room, I'll believe you, game. I'll believe you, for now. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. All right, well, 
Not much to the second half of this floor, huh? Ace of clubs, whatever. It's gonna take too long to walk back for it anyways. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just everything exploding. Well, this will be the most expensive member card ever. Because I won't even be able to afford anything, but... There you go. Oh, it's got a reroll machine. It's got a reroll machine. Okay, now I'm interested. Now I'm invested. Tears up? <laughs> I don't want tears. I don't want a 46 cent purgatory. Now, 26 cent damage upgrade, I, I'll, I'll think about it. If I get the money, I'll be back. This is a weird room. I don't think I've ever seen that room before. So where the heck is our secret room? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. I guess it could be here. Not there either. It's getting to be a little bit tough to find these secret rooms lately. Whoops. We're also done with the floor. It feels like we've just gotten started on the floor, but I guess we're done with it, so. There we go. You spawned inside of me. I don't feel happy about that. Power pill. You know, I'm just gonna keep my luck up, I think. We're currently at 11 luck, which is pretty freaking good. You know, as we accumulate luck, I'm hoping that we'll get, um, take rest and key. I'm hoping that we'll get more uh, chests and whatnot. Good chest open, too. I took a hit. I guess we have to, like, we have to hit every segment of Mom with the laser beam, huh? That's not amazing. Gonna just take the Polaroid, I think. <laughs> as good as this run is, I hate doing uh, the dark room path for the most part. If I've taken deals already or have a ton of health, I'll do it. But like, what, what, what of this run makes you feel like it's okay for us to lose like all of our HP on random deals with the devil? I have no HP. This is the most HP we've gotten in like three floors. <laughs> Just in two random rooms. Dun, 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 dun. Squarey, well, <laughs> sorry. Squeer, squarey, squarey. Welcome to the stream, how you doing today? I don't know what that emote is. But it looks cool. Stay away from me. Actually, our damage when we're uh, only firing the Brimstone Beam is also really not that good. Like, it's it's definitely sweet with the, the Godhead homing, but like... It's only 11 damage on a very thin Brimstone Beam that seems like it does less damage normally anyways. You son of a... This is the poop one. I don't want poopy bombs. I want luck up. I want infinite luck. I want a million luck. And then when I go to the chest, I want a hundred million chests to spawn. That's my strategy right now. That's my winning game strategy. Just get lucky <laughs> and get a lot of chests. Hey, if it was good enough for Afterbirth, it'll be good enough for Repentance. Careful. Careful. 
And this is the mom fight too, so we're like, we're there. Ow. That was actually pretty fast. 36 minutes. You know, we're actually not that far off from having uh, the opportunity to do Hush. Six minutes behind? That's not that bad. And it's not a not a super easy run either. Well, I mean, it's pretty good. Health-wise, it's been a little bit tough. I'm out of bombs. Alrighty then. That's one way to get some bombs. I don't know why I'm blowing these open for money. It's not like we really need the cash. Abe's strategy, get lucky. I always love to get lucky. I am 15 lucky. Approaching more lucky. I've had a lot of luck in Isaac before, but I've never really been able to engineer a lot of luck. A little bit too close. I've always thought that this could be a very good combination, and now we're here so we can actually try it out. What happens when you have, you know, 20 luck on the... The chest? Will you get a chest every room? God, I certainly hope so. Lock up! This feels like a secret room, just because it's kind of a dead end room, but I guess not. I was really hoping it would be. I need more HP. <laughs> Please. I think we'll be fine on Blue Baby and Isaac, though. They're not really that, that tough. So hold on, if I plant a bomb, it'll blow open the rock, but not actually give me a, a passage. You gotta like plant a bomb like here? We have an infinite bomb, so like we can run this test. I don't know, I don't know how to do this. We have to like throw a bomb or something. Hmm. Well, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Oh god, we're moving him. <laughs> Why did I not get hit by that? Is it because I'm so small? You think my, maybe my hitbox is so small that I can't get hit by the late, the uh, beams from heaven? That'd be cool. By the way, he's dead. For Necklace says, I had 30 plus luck on a lost run once with perfection plus mom's box. I guess that that is one way that I've had a lot of luck myself, is I have had that combination before. I've definitely had perfection on a run. I've had perfection and uh, the uh, item that keeps you from losing your stats, uh, rock bottom. I've had, I think, I think I've had Perfection and Mom's Box. In fact, I think I've had all three of those. You think you've had that combo not too long ago? Probably a long time ago, because I don't remember. I have not had Mom's Box in a while, myself. I don't know what hit me. Probably Creep. I will say, I love getting all of these chests. I think our, our luck it's either luck or it's the key trinket we have. One of those things is giving us uh, some great drops. Burks. Also, it feels like the damage bonus from uh, hitting an enemy, enemy with a sneeze is way bigger than I thought it was. It feels like we're doing like triple damage or something. That's probably not the case, but it really does feel like we have just an insane amount of damage bonuses when we are uh, hitting an enemy with that. 
But I'll accept it. I'll accept it either way. D double damage, triple, quadruple, you know, whatever. Hello? <laughs> he seemed like he was having a hard time. Poor Chubb. Chubb's been having a bad couple of days. We had that run the other day with uh, a broken-headed Chubb delirium. Then we had this Chubb who just, you know, doesn't know what he's doing with his life. He's like, I just I just know I need, I'm angry. I'm just angry at the world. It's like, okay, I'm sorry, man. Look, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. I just got here. I mean, I had to know. It works! I think the synergy was broken uh, prior to the update. Look at this. Okay, first of all, it's wild. But we actually do have technology wrapped around our beams, and it I think it's doing more damage? Like, I think we had a damage up by picking up technology. It's hard to, hard to say for certain, though. I'm liking it, though. Oh, God. A little spewer. Well. You know, we just unlocked him a little while ago. I guess it makes sense that we would find him repeatedly now. don't know if I want to fight Delirium either. <laughs> and by Delirium, I mean uh, Mega Satan, because I feel like our damage is good, but our health is so low that if we get hit like, well, I mean, if we get hit three times, we're going to die. So I'm a little worried. You know, if I had some health up pills in the rotation, maybe some uh, full health pills even, I'd feel pretty good about it. Conjoined? No conjoined? I was really hoping for conjoined. I guess we'll just go up to 20 luck, why not? <laughs> just don't get hit. I guess, yeah, if I just don't get hit, we're good. I guess our damage is pretty good. We could try it. Could take Taurus, for some reason. The Magician. We already have homing shots, so we don't need it. It makes my beam, uh, it doesn't even change the color of it, okay. Last item, money equals power. All right, now that we have 21 damage, let's do it. Just don't get hit. <laughs> Just don't get hit ever. I don't know if I love or hate the slowdown effect. I guess we don't have to, you know, sneeze on them. It is a little bit of a risk. Maybe we would just prefer to to not sneeze. Or maybe we sneeze on him when he uh, when an enemy gets hit by the tentacle. We got a lot of tentacle action going on here. I don't know why hitting the hand also. I guess he's one enemy, so hitting the hand with a uh, a debuff like the sneeze actually hits him too. Hold on, gotta sneeze you. Yep, <laughs> that's why. Spider butt, spider butt. Slow down these enemies, cause they suck. Whoa, 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 I got hit there. I'm not happy about that. Although I think because he summoned an angel, 
the angel had the brimstone debuff. You can't even move, you idiot. You dummy! Oh, he does have the debuff. It's just like at the top of the screen. It's hard to see. Okay, he's dead. I don't know if all of his familiars are dead. He's definitely been hit. He's taken damage. We can uh, sneeze bullets away too. It's a little tough to do, but it does work. Also, I think like when he's debuffed, he freaking uh, is slowed all the time. I don't know. It does seem like that's the case. Oh, I should not be this far back. Yeah, I need, oh god, maybe I need like a little spewer to get in there or something and hit him with a spew shot. No, he's slowed, he's, I guess when the tentacle grabs him, that's when he's slowed, that makes sense. And we're done, no delirium necessary. Let's freaking go, dude. Win streak of 13, Azazel completed. I'm glad we played him, cause uh, I enjoy that little new mechanic with his hemoptysis. The uh, the brimstone sneeze. The fact that it happens every charge instead of having to cancel your charge makes it a lot more usable. And uh, honestly, it's just more consistent because instead of having to get to a quarter charge and releasing, uh, you know, it just happens automatically, which it's just a little quality of life improvement. I like it. Well, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Stream, la Stream Labs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of The Binding of Isaac Repentance.